All right, and we are back on the Rockabilly Review. This is Devilish Dave, and uh, you know what? That special guest caller is already on the line. I'd like to welcome to the Rockabilly Review the uh, our headlining artist at Poor David's Pub on Friday, Texas's own Rosie Flores. Rosie, can you hear me there? How are you doing? How's it going? Nice to be here. Great. Thank you for joining us. I, I want to cover a little bit about uh, what you got going on this Friday. Well, I'm going to be playing with my Austin band. We're coming up, Rosie and the Rhythm Rockers. And I'm going to be um, playing some songs off the newly recorded record, but not yet released record. And um, we're just going to be having a good time. We're going to be doing some cool dance songs. And, and um, yeah, we'll be playing there at Par David's Pub. I haven't played there since, I think the last time I played there was when I was with Wanda Jackson. Oh, man. And that was a really long time ago. Well, that's awesome. Well, we're really glad to have you back up here. That's awesome. Wow, thanks. Thanks so much. We're really looking forward to it. We don't get to play Dallas that often, so it's going to be a treat. Yeah, we're going to have to get everybody out there for you for rocking out. That would be great. So you've got. A, so let me ask you, yeah. you've, you've gotten a reputation as a pretty blazing guitar slinger, having played all over the world. Is... Is there a certain song or artist or album that inspired you to pick up a guitar? I've been playing the guitar since I was 16 years old. And um, I think, you know, back in the day, I was listening to a lot of stuff on the radio. It was from George Harrison to, um, you know, the, from the Beatles are popular to Keith Richard, you know. And then as I grew older, I got into country music and was picking up that stuff. I always had a band. I had a band since I was 16, and I was always the lead guitar player of it. So um, it took a lot of um, a lot of years for people to notice I was playing because people would hear me on the radio and they wouldn't know that was me playing the guitar. They just assumed that I was the chick singer. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's but that's funny. that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you. I think you've been called a musical chameleon for covering all the multiple genres that you you've been in and out of throughout the years. I mean, is is Rockabilly one of the ones that really stands out as a favorite? Yeah, I've been I've been submerged in Rockabilly sound for years and years. My new album is has a you know, a bit of Rockabilly on it, but it's it's going more in a blues vein, kind of like how the Paladins did that when they went from kind of hillbilly to to more bluesy. And so um that's that's the songs that I've been writing, so my new stuff. But it, it swings. It swings like rockabilly. So awesome. There's awesome. not a whole lot of difference. You know, just some of the songs are a little bit more uh, low down and dirty, that's all. Oh, <laughs> that's even better. That's awesome. Well, here, I how, think so. How about I play uh, Too Much off of uh, your last album? You got oh, any, that'd be great. you have any uh, stories or thoughts about that song? Well, I can just tell you that when I was a little girl growing up in San Antonio, that was a hit on the jukebox and my dad would uh, give me some money to go and play songs on the jukebox and I used to play that one and Teddy Bear uh, while uh, him and my my uh, my cousins and uncles who are over 21 of course a little beer joint in San Antonio and they'd be drinking and I'd be playing the jukebox and I fell in love with Elf. Awesome. Well, let's, let's play <laughs> let's listen to some too much and let's rock it out for a little bit. How about that? That sounds perfect. Let's do it. Man, that was a smoking track, Rosie. That legendary, <laughs> that was some killer guitar. Seriously, that was Thank awesome. You. Was awesome. Fun. So, folks, you are listening to KNON, and you're listening to Rockabilly, Rockabilly Review, and we have Rosie Flores on the line. She's down in Austin right now about to go see a Rockabilly show herself. Mr. Brian Setzer is playing down there. So, uh, and, uh, she, I might, I might um, add... That uh, that was Brian Setzer's drummer on that last track. Really? Was, yeah, Noah Levy made that uh, Working Girls guitar record with me. It was Noah Levy, and uh, it was um, Tommy V, Bobby V's son, and we that that whole record was done with a trio. And uh, yeah, Noah Levy been touring with Setzer for a long time, and I I had heard an instrumental record that him and Tommy V made with with Brian and so I went into the same studio and cut this record in in Minneapolis so that's where Brian lives and that's awesome uh, and I understand and I understand you produced that record too is that right 
I did. I did with some some help from the engineers that were working with me, of course, you know. That's awesome. But, right? Yeah. Cool. Well, we, we're looking forward to seeing you at the uh, at the show here on Friday. At uh, we're the... looking forward to it. I hope we get a lot of people out there. Yeah, they better come on out. The legendary you know, Poor David's Pope. Canoe. That's right. Um, <laughs> Rosie Flores. We're going to go out with some Working Girls Guitar off the same named album, Working Girls Guitar. Thank you so much for calling in, Rosie. We appreciate it. We will My. see you on Friday. My pleasure, you guys. Take care, listeners. I'll see you in Dallas. Awesome. See you here. Okay. See you. Thank you. Bye.